So nobody's still talking about the fact that Lando got nearly pushed off into the grass by Max after they'd collided. Nobody's mentioning that. Why are we just burying our heads in the sand now? Is that what we do? Um, do we just let Max carry on with his bad behaviour? Because he seems to have reverted back to type, doesn't he? And is this another example of the angry Dutch? Because, you know, Jos kind of threw his toys out of the pram during the Grand Prix when he was supposed to drive Max round. And then, allegedly, Christian put the kibosh on it by saying he didn't want, you know, a non-Red Bull employee driving Max. He didn't want it filmed. And then there was a whole stromash behind the scenes that we don't really know about. And then Yost comes out and says, well, I'm not going to do it anyway. I've, I've, I'm, I'm throwing my toys out the pram. I'm not doing it. Yeah, you know what? Grow up, mate. I mean, this I don't, I don't like this guy. I don't think he should be in the Red Bull team as such because he isn't part of the team. And yeah, he might be Max's father, but did Lewis not throw his dad out at one point? Because he got too controlling. Well, guess what? Jos Verstappen's way more controlling and Max, uh, over Max than uh, Morris was over Lo Lewis. Is it Morris? No. What's his name? What's his dad? Is... Oh, I can't remember. I don't care. I just, I don't like this whole angry Dutch thing. And it's not, it's not good. Cause, and I call them the angry Dutch because the Dutch did get mad one year and deposed and ate their prime minister. That's why I call them the angry Dutch. Yeah, you heard that right. But more than that, is this a bubbling undercurrent of what's going on at Red Bull? Is Christian going to keep digging at Yoss? Is Yoss going to keep digging at Christian? If so, that's a pretty toxic environment. I think the toxic, I think the toxicity in that team is evident for all to see now. They're going backwards. And the only reason they're not going backwards in the points is because Max Verstappen is driving the wheels off the car. Literally driving the wheels off the car and other people's. He's back to the, you shall not pass at any and all costs, even if it means me losing my race, you're not overtaking me. And remember, he, he did that stupid thing in the spa simulator uh, sim race when he ran that other guy off the road because he span him earlier in the lap. You know what? Grow up. You're driving the fastest cars in the world. You're getting paid some of the highest wages in the world. Can, it, can can we not expect you to actually behave like actual human beings? You're role models for many, many people. So grow up, get a grip, and get your job done. Stop acting like little boys, spoiled, rich little boys. And it's not hard because, you know, and I don't like Lewis Hamilton. Hands on the table, I'm not, I've never been a great fan of him. And he is a whiny bitch, but they all seem to be a whiny bitch once they get in the car and they've been a world champion. You know, they're always whining about something, even Alonso, who I like. They're always whining about something when it's not going their way. But Lewis really nearly always whines about the car, right? He doesn't, he doesn't then, you know, start whining about everything else. And he doesn't really behave that badly. He's robust, but he always gives people that, that racing room, I think. And I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm defending Lewis Hamilton. Well, I'm not defending him because he's not on a charge here. But I'm not defending Max Verstappen. He made that incident what it was and he compounded it by then trying to run Lando off the road and the way back to the pits just because he didn't want Lando to get back to the pits before him. I mean, they've both lost the race. So, yeah. I wasn't impressed by that at all. I'm not impressed by Jos Verstappen and his shenanigans behind the scenes. I'm not impressed by Christian Horner. He needs to, to grow up as well. You know, he's a middle-aged man, for God's sake. Get a grip. You've got a family. What are you trying to prove? Are, are you trying to prove something? Are you having to use little pills to get it? You know, just grow up, mate. Grow up. And and I think this is why Adrian knew he's left, because he doesn't want any part of that, and I can understand that. Because certainly, call Adrian knew what you like or, or, or whatever, but he is no doubt a genius, and to my view, seems to be the quintessential English gentleman, and that's why he's left, because he doesn't want tarred by this brush. And I think I think he's going to end up at Aston. I still do. It's just down the road, he doesn't need to move. 
he's, I mean, he's what, 65 or something? He's, you know, he's coming on in years, so why would he want to move to Italy? Unless he wants to move to Italy. But that's a different ball game altogether, working for the Italians. <laughs> yeah. And you can just imagine, imagine if you came out with a bad car, because it can happen, you know, even Adrian Newey could design a bad car. So what happens if you come out with a bad car and the the Tafiosi and the Italian press would just go nuts, wouldn't they? Yeah, I, I wouldn't fancy being on the end of that. Whereas if he goes to Aston Martin, it could only go up, really, can't he? And what's going on with Fernando Alonso? Why is... Why the big slump? Is he just fed up? I don't know. And certainly when you give Fernando a car that doesn't perform, he will drive off the, he will drive it as hard as he can, but he will moan about it. <laughs> and yet he put in the fastest lap of the race in Austria. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen at the British Grand Prix. I need to bone up on it. I'll give you an update before it. But yeah, it's it's crazy. Oh, the British Grand Prix. Uh, there's one thing that the Max Verstappen and Lando Norris Stromash has helped. British Grand Prix ticket sales have gone sky high. Because, well, they've gone through the roof because people want to go and see the next instalment. So, you know, a, a bit of a collision and fighting is always quite good. Just don't make it dangerous by trying to force people off the track when both of you have only got three wheels in your wagon. A thousand pounds for a three-day grandstand ticket at the British Grand Prix. A thousand pounds. Apparently it was half that for Austria. A thousand pounds. I can't get over that. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. <laughs> I'll keep you posted. And if, if you want, I'll give you my thoughts. But yeah, I think... Um, and we we'll need to talk about what's going to happen in the driving market, but everything seems to be waiting on signs, making a decision. And people are going to run out of patience, aren't they? They really are. I mean, I'm running out of patience. So we'll see what happens there. Have fun. Catch you later.